Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. <clears throat> this is a random read, which is timeless. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings will always resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone might be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone of this channel. And I greatly appreciate you. So yeah, it's evening time, you guys. Woo! -hoo. No, I mean, you know, I don't usually do it in the evening because of lighting and stuff. But, you know, we'll have to do with the uh, romantic lighting. You know, I don't know if it's romantic or not, but, you know, got some candles going though. Anyhow, I chose the Crystal Vision Tarot because, uh, you know, obviously I was drawn to it. But I was only drawn to this one deck. I was trying to look for, oh, maybe we should add a little more to make it Oracle. But I didn't want to. I mean, not like I didn't want to. Like, I didn't feel drawn to grab any of the ones that, you know. So, let me see. What about this? Yeah, not right. Okay, you know what? No. No, no, no. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> All right. So I do have, I didn't see these. I do have my picture cards. These feel good to use right now. <coughs> okay. So let me give these a quick shuffle. And we're going to see uh, what kind of involvement or maybe if something here might resonate with you then then maybe there is a message in the reading for you <clears throat> maybe maybe not I don't know but let me just do a couple quick shuffles and then we'll, sh we'll go through them and we'll see right let's see let's see uh you know what's going to come out for whoever's catching the video <clears throat> it's going to resonate or you know Kind of energies we got floating around here. Whoops, whoops. Something just fell on the floor here. I'm just gonna do a few this time, okay? I usually go through it twice, but that should be good. <clears throat> All right. So apparently we have some veterans out there. This is my veteran card, right? It looks like some old dudes, you know, in some uniforms. Uh, apparently that's a veteran status, I guess, you know, uh, or that's how I feel. You know what I mean? Um, what's this? Okay. We have somebody out there. Might like to have a few drinks now and then, or maybe a little bit too much. Maybe you have that many in one night. It's not a good idea, but you know, if not, um, Maybe you like to have a drink, drink some wine. Hey, buddy. There's some dogs around here and they come visiting. They're so cute. Hi. Hi there. Hi. Okay, we're just going to continue. Oh, and look it. Well, lo and behold, we have somebody out there might have a dog. All right. I know I do. We all know I do. Might have one that looks like that. Mine's beginning to bark like one of those, you know, just too much. Actually, I have him tied up because uh, I was letting him have some freedom. And then he just started not listening. And then he ran towards the street and the car had to stop to let him pass. And I was like, Brian, so pissed off because he, he doesn't he's not responding to my calls now. So now he's got to get tied up again. I, I kind of hate doing that to him. But, you know, ooh, we also have somebody here. That might be interested in like the ancient, uh, you know, Aztec or ancient ruins or, you know, somebody who likes what maybe watching Discovery Channel or, you know, something like that. <laughs> right. We might have somebody out there that likes that sort of thing. I know I do I like watching about, uh, you know, ancient Peru and stuff, you know. <clears throat> All right. We have somebody out there also that just has entirely too much stuff. You're hoarding. Do you really need those shoes from 19, you know, 89? I mean, this is, this, this is my, you have too much, your hoarding card. Like, you know, you have clothes that you haven't worn in like years, you know, really? 
So I have become a minimalist. So, you know, I, I gave away like on my travels, I give away like 40 pairs of jeans, dude. Cause I was like, why do I even have that many jeans? You know, why really? Anyhow, let's just keep going. This is my, I saw them do it or I'm watching you card. So you choose. Either you're watching me, ha, or somebody's watching you. And of course, one of my favorites. Look at this this beautiful mountain range, and you know, look at look at all the pine trees down here. Like, dude, what I wouldn't do to have like a chunk of land right here somewhere. You know, in, in the middle of the trees right there. You know, I think that would be cool right there. I'll, I'll, I'll put my little house right there somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyhow, you guys, I'm just being goofy. So, uh, yeah. So maybe something here might resonate with you all. Or maybe you see or you know that something right here is happening in your future. Something like that. Okay. All right. <clears throat> wow, it's late. And we got people out there on motorbikes and shit, you know. Woo! Partying that. No, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a Monday. I'm not going to say the date because it's a timeless reading. It doesn't really matter, but it's like a Monday. <laughs> it should be like silence out there, but it's not, you know, it's okay. It's kind of cool where I'm at. I'm going to be here for a little bit. Anyways. Let's get uh, some energies flowing on whoever's catching this video. So no, this could be your energy. It could be uh, maybe the energy of somebody you're dealing with. To usually say it's the energy of the person watching the video, but I could be wrong, you know. No one's ever 100% uh, right all the time, right? Mm. Looks like we have the moon card here now. There could be some secrets. You could be holding some secrets. Now, if you're like, I don't have any secrets, I'm an open book, well, then maybe somebody's got some secrets from you. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I'm also feeling somebody here may have a, a dog or two. <laughs> And somebody here could have some very long hair. <coughs> That's what I caught off that card. This could be your energy or someone you know. I'm sorry, you guys. Let me get a drink. <clears throat> Sometimes it incense too, man. <clears throat> and then I just burned uh, some sage. <clears throat> so it's probably just getting to me right now. All right, so that's what I see with that moon card there. <clears throat> Somebody uh, withholding something from you, or you could even be doing that. Because <clears throat> like I said, if you're like, I'm not good, you know, then this could be somebody that you know. Five of Pentacles. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm feeling like the secret here is that you, it's either you or someone you know, but this is a story here. Somebody here is, um, Somebody here has left someone out in the cold. And they don't want another person to know that they did that. It's kind of like somebody left somebody to go somewhere else. But wherever they went somewhere else, they don't want those people to know that they left some other people out in the cold. <clears throat> For example... We have a married couple. 
The guy's the breadwinner. The woman just stays home with the kid. Right? Something happens, they separate. The guy leaves the woman and the kid to go somewhere else to maybe another lover or another love or something like that. But doesn't want that love to know that he abandoned the wife and child, you know, with nothing. You know? That's what I mean. That's why I mean, like, whoever this is, somebody might be holding that secret. They don't want the new person to know that they left their wife and kids out in the cold to suffer, right? Now, I don't know what the situation is, but that's an example of what I'm talking about, though. You know what I mean? <clears throat> now, there might be a reason why this person just up and left. This, this person... The, the wife could have done something terrible. The child is, is 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 a bystander, okay? Now, whatever happened between the wife and the and the other person, or vice versa, whatever, I don't know however which way it goes, it must have been something bad for this person to up and leave like that. So, I don't know. You know your story. <clears throat> What is the potential of this situation here? What's the potential? <clears throat> Ace of Cups, a new start in love. So you see, so now the new start in love doesn't necessarily mean between these two, right? The new start in love could be this person holding that secret doesn't want wherever they're going to start that new start in love to know that they left some people behind <clears throat> so I'm seeing here you know like they don't like maybe they had good going on between the this couple in, in the past maybe they had good things going on but not anymore because they left someone out somebody left somebody out in the cold right or somebody could have been, even done something secretly behind someone's back or something like that taken some money cheated lied whatever right but out of this situation there's going to be a new love or a new emotional situation now it's not i don't feel like it's between them two let's see what the obstacle is and i'll just you know mention i can hear like coyotes out there that might resonate with somebody coyotes right coyotes <clears throat> Sorry to be all coughing, you guys, in your ear. The world. So the obstacle's ending. So somebody wants a new start. That's the potential. But the obstacle of that new start is actually ending this situation, right? <clears throat> somebody wants to move forward and go to this new start in love. But in order to do that, they have to... The obstacle here... <clears throat> they have to end the you know the the original one that's why it's a secret because somebody likes to have their ducks in a row if somebody is separating or breaking up with someone that person wants to have the next person ready that's what i mean it's that one of those situations i don't know if you guys know those situations that's called being with a hobosexual right when you're with somebody and you're dating them because they provide you with a place to live or a support or something, right? So we may have a hobosexual here on our hands. A person that wants to start something new in love somewhere but doesn't want that person to know that they're still shacked up with someone but they want to make sure that it's okay that they're living with you and staying with you now before they tell the other one, you know, to hit the high trail, to hit the road. That they don't want them no more or whatever. <clears throat> and that's pretty fucked up. But, you know. There's people like that. Oh, 
All right, babe. So we have the Eight of Cups. So, yeah. See, there is going to be a walking away in this situation. From which one, I don't know. But it, it doesn't look like it's this one. It's going to be this, you know, the one who's got that secret. The one who doesn't want the new person to know. That person's walking away. Eight of Pentacles. This person is just going to start to, you know, they have no choice but to work on themselves with the state of Pentacles. They're just going to work on their craft because of how else are they going to support themselves, right? And, you know. And, you know, and I agree with this, uh, that both of them are going to find new love. Okay. The thing here is with this situation between those two, Someone's definitely walking away. And they're walking away because of the secrets. You know? This person, I mean, this this people they're walking away from, the, the wife or whoever this could be, may also not know that this person has another person lined up after them. You know? In some decks, the Eight of Cups doubles as the Moon card. So it's like we have a, a Moon Moon right there. So there's a lot of secrets right and i do see that somebody needs to work on themselves because you know maybe there's somebody with low uh self-esteem low self-love they were staying in a relationship that was just suckish right but somebody's gonna just straight out walk away and this person's just gonna have to work on themselves find their self-love maybe go to school pick up a trade something because they're gonna have to support themselves now Maybe this person was, has been supporting them and this person's just been kicking back, spending the money. Could be that too. It could be anything, you guys. Just depends. There's hundreds of scenarios that could be out there. <laughs> Other card I'm holding in my hand is a Nine of Swords, right? And whoever wants to have a new start, because it, it looks like one person is kind of like, like doesn't... Maybe in depression mode, because all this is happening, which could be this person. This person might be in Nine of Swords. I'm feeling energy because they want to end this, but they have not spoken it yet, I don't think. Right? I think that's the issue here. This all is what wants to transpire, but it will not unless somebody speaks up. Right? And that is usually the issue with most situations is that people they don't speak up speak what's on your mind if you're uncomfortable about something say it you know if you're not happy in the relationship say it right if you want to fix something or you want to talk about it say it it's all you got to do people aren't mind readers okay <clears throat> See what else we got going on here. And you know, I'm not trying to be mean about it when I say that, because I'm I'm one to blame too. I you know, I'm one to blame when it comes to saying it. You know, I need to open my mouth too, and so, but sometimes I don't. You know, because I don't know whatever reasons. You know. I don't want to hurt feelings or I feel bad for what I did or whatever the case, you know. Two of Pentacles. So there was juggling. I, I knew it. That's what this whole story has been about, juggling. About this person with this secret. Juggling his family and, you know, wanting a new to start a new love somewhere else. But they got to end the situation first. It's like I already told the whole story and all the cards are coming out now. Right? Not what's happening. This person was juggling, um, and that was part of the secret, juggling family and someone else. Going towards someone else possibly also because that person did work on themselves and the person they were with, they didn't. They kind of went downhill, right? And who they uh, see now as this person who worked on themselves, they see them as, you know, the Empress now. 
this person is the empress. This is the person that uh, this person who has a secret is juggling. This person is juggling a family, like maybe wife and kid, or I don't know if they're married or not. It doesn't necessarily mean they're married, but, you know, could have a kid or something. But they're juggling somebody with uh, an empress. And they're walking away. The secret here is also that they're walking away from something they have already established. <coughs> Oh my gosh, that it's what is it? <coughs> Ugh, black cherry, extra rich. That's why it's, it's killing my throat, you guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, the secret's out that somebody has been uh, juggling with an empress and their family, their own families you know members wife and kids whatever juggling you know in their life cheating deceiving whatever right somebody did not and, and you know what's crazy and i just noticed it now this empress right here she's pregnant look she's holding her belly right usually the empress card has it looking like that and i did but i don't normally notice that but this time i did so somebody may have even gotten an empress pregnant and they have a whole entire family somewhere else yeah, that sucks. You could go to jail for that. You know that, right? I mean, people are, I, I, I would assume that you should know that, right? Did you know that, uh, also, I might as well bring it up. Did you know that cheating on your spouse, you can go to jail for that also? There's a law against that. People just don't enforce it or don't do it or don't say anything. Why? Oh, because they're embarrassed that their spouse cheated on them and they don't want to make a big huff puff about it. Fuck that. I wouldn't even want to be with that person anymore. I wouldn't, you know, even if it was me, I wouldn't want to be with me anymore either. You know? Oh, my holy crap holy. Look who's at the bottom of the deck. That's who we're talking about here. And that's why I think that that's another secret that's being kept is this person may also know that they're the emperor and then they're with somebody that's not their counterpart and that they want to go towards this empress because that's who they know that their counterpart is. The, the thing here is, though, is that we're not sure if this empress is going to accept that person because you know what? You know, this Empress might know some stuff. This Empress has uh, had some sleepless nights herself with endings with this person. As you see, the Empress, sleepless nights and endings. You know, that's where I just got that, <laughs> you know. Yeah, I, I feel like the person holding these secrets here from these women or these other p people, that they're, they're just, there's a bunch of secrets going on. And they don't know about each other. But somebody might have an idea. Anyways, you guys. If this resonated, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful. I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.